head waiter Matthew Rivett was going to be putting us through our paces. When a guest enters a restaurant or a private dining room, they want you to make eye contact and sit them down. Mm -hmm. So you take the chair, as they're coming towards you, make eye contact, pull the chair out, and as they're sitting, push it in firmly. Okay, yeah, try not to use your feet. Yeah, you've got big you strong arms. I thought you hadn't noticed that. This must be sat in front of the guest, and everything is then built out from that. That's just, that's the um, that's the sauce spoon for the starter. It's got a fish thing. Wrong. No, no, wait, because that is a fish fork, and it that goes with that fork, spoon. And it does go with that so spoon. So they that's are the starter. starter. Correct. So that's for your starter. Take it by the very edge. Hold on, I can't get hold of the napkin. That's our first problem. You, you handled it a little bit too much for my liking. No, Run no, it's not a rag doll. It's, when you serve something, it's already on the plate. You serve it from the guest's right, right. and then you also clear it from the right. This end, we've got a, a brown wholemeal roll in the French style and a white one in a similar style. And a white roll with sesame seeds. Right. When you go to the left, it's when you're serving something onto a plate that's already there. Thank you, madam. Don't mumble ever. And how full? Same as wine, kind of half Up full. To the bottom of the line of the Ritz logo. Oh, okay. that's even specific itself. The two are not attached to each other, so they will move around. They will slide around. Chris must be at the top. You must put it down level. Yeah. Must be in the centre of the place. What's wrong? I moved the knife with my hand. I moved the knife again. So think about what you're doing. There was so much to learn, and I was getting really frustrated with the stupid plates. Apart from the fact that you're touching the knife again, you have to use the, the palm of your hand with your little finger and your thumb. Second plate, you place on top of that, it forms a platform. It should be completely level. That's it. That's how I'm going to go with it. Don't drop a Ritz plate, Barney. This is a f I've never done like that before, so it feels a bit... It will. Jake seems to be coming out as slightly more confident. He handles the plates and the trays with a bit more confidence. Um, but I think there's a, a bit of uh, competition there which should bring both of them up to a similar level. So we have to heat up the Grand Marnier. Uh -huh. It will actually flame at quite a low temperature. It's starting to now, isn't it? There, there you go. go. Whoa. We're flaming. Oh, what no. I'll do is label it over the souffle, oh. keeping very good control all the time. Okay. There you are. Uh, there it is. It's on fire. Now the tray is quite heavy. Who would like to have a go first? Barney. Why not? <laughs> so I'll pass it to you with two hands. If you put out one hand, use the other hand to balance yourself straight away. You're joking. And don't let go until you're comfortable. And you've got to, have you got to hold that and a pull? Not a chance. I'm not, I'm not joking either. You have to, it's all about, well... Have a go at that, mate. I'm not joking. It, it's doable. I'm sure it's doable, but just... Yeah. You've got remember, you've got scalding hot liquids there. It's OK. Coffee, sir? Yes, please. I'm going to be off that way like a shot if that starts moving. You starting to feel it yet? You've got five more of them to do. And then you put the tray down quickly before your arm falls off. Very good. Well done, Swap places. Time for you to pour coffee all over me. I'd love to, sir. I'm going to struggle but with You that. have to remember the waiter's job starts before the meal and laying the table and it ends after the meal with clearing away and everything in between. You can't opt out of certain things. If the guests would like it, you have to do it. We can do the coffee and tea separately, but as an ideal standard, we'd like to serve all the guests at the same time in a smooth, flowing motion. There's no point taking stuff off it. Why are you getting bent out of shape about it? All I'm doing is taking a bit of weight off so I don't drop it. I can't hold that weight. The whole point is we're practicing to do exactly the same thing. No, Try it. That's the worst case scenario. Try it, though. All right, then. All right. You, could, you should have tried it, though. But I don't feel confident enough to try it. I was a little bit frustrated, yeah, with Jake, because he's... Sometimes it's, it's, it's almost like you're not doing your best. I'm doing the best I can, but he'll say something in such a way, and I'll go, actually, oh, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm feeling... And I start shying away and going, oh, maybe I'm not doing... But actually, I am. I'm doing the best I can. It's just that on that particular um, topic or subject, or what you want to call it, I, I just couldn't do it as well as Jake, and he wouldn't let it go a bit. And I, I was getting frustrated, because he's supposed to be working with me. Do you think it would be a shame not to do it? Well, you do it, then. Could you not practice it again and again and again? Not in a night, no. All right, so we'll go with separate tea and coffee. Separate tea and coffee. 
Okay. I, it was a cop out, and I really kind of, in a non cruel way, I think, tried to push him to say, just carry the tray, it'll be fine. But he wasn't having any of it. Um, so I'm feeling kind of okay about tomorrow, and I think Barney's maybe a bit more nervous than me. It was all going to plan. That was until Matthew dropped a bombshell. One thing I may have forgot to mention yesterday, uh -huh. because of the formality uh, of the Trafalgar suite, mm -hmm. we generally wear white gloves. It oh, just adds an extra okay. finishing touch. So um, and adds a bit of grip as well. You could uh, try those out for side. The thing that I would say, it doesn't actually add grip. If anything, it takes away from it. Oh, I'm going to need to practice with this. How about Spill you? Spill gravy on these and you know about it. I can try do that now. Think of it as a negative thing. Think positively. Come on, Barney. I'm to. You've still got time. Barney, I'm sorry. You've still got to keep them level. There you are, you see? I'm going to drop them. So keep them level. I can feel it slipping. Mm -hmm. You know, I must reiterate, these are my regular guests that are coming today. Um, they use the facilities a lot. We have to take it very seriously. They will not know that you're not regular Ritz staff. In, in no uncertain terms, you're representing the Ritz. I feel awful now. The guests today were ten professional women who were having lunch to raise money for charity. Books fizz. Thank you very much. With the books fizz handed out, it was showtime. Good afternoon and welcome to the Ritz. If you'd like to come through to the main dining room of the Trafalgar Suite, lunch will be served. Thank you. Enjoy. I tried to hide my nerves, but the plates were giving it away. Thank you. Any glasses which have been dispensed with, take the glasses off with the tray, take them to the kitchen. Now, because the gloves made everything much harder to grip, I was concentrating more on them than the tray. Excuse me, madam. Thank you. Clear up the glass, yeah? Yeah. Sweep it up, put it on the tray. Okay. Right. New glass. You get your glass in your hand. Smashing the glasses had made me lose my confidence, and I began to forget the basic things that I'd learned. Some of the right. Excuse me. Thank you. Cheers, man. Clear from the right. Don't I forget do. what you've been taught. Excuse me. I was really worried about Barney, especially because the vegetables we had to silver serve were green beans, which, believe you me, are much smaller and much slipperier than a satsuma. You can say that again. Man went all over the place, literally. And Matthew really started to lose his faith in me. If I see one more logo not at 12 o'clock on the table, you won't continue. Okay. It's very simple. Okay. What happens if they turn the plate round? No, no, way? they won't. Twelve o'clock. Okay. okay. Thank you. That's tough. Yeah, she's turning it around. That is tough. Yeah, but she's turning it around. She's eating it. But she turned it around. What am I going to do? Keep adjusting it every time she turns it around. He said she won't turn it around. She did twice. I needed to get my confidence back and get it together. I didn't want this to be a disaster, and more importantly, I didn't want to let Jake down. Well done. Good. So clearing the tables seemed a success. I was just desperate for Barney to do a good job with the flaming desserts. We'd nearly done it. Only one thing left, the coffee. I have to say, I was really glad Barney made us serve the tea and coffee separately. We'd done it. And even Matthew was smiling. Well, nearly. The overall lunch was uh, an incredible success. A couple of little glitches. But then uh, that's to be expected. There have only been waiters for a couple of days. Um, as everyone knows, waiters at the Ritz have trained for years. So uh, under those circumstances, absolutely incredible. And we're, we're very pleased. At the end of the day, the lunch that we served today was to the full Ritz standard. And we're very pleased with that.